Baruch Shani to Baruch 10. And it came to pass after seven days that the word of Elohim came to me and said unto me, Tell Yahu to go and support the captivity of the people unto Babel. But do remain here amid the desolation of Sion, and I will show to you after these days what will befall at the end of days. And I said to Yahu, as Yahuwah commanded me, and he indeed departed with the people, but I, Baruch, returned and sat before the gates of the temple, and I lamented with the following lamentation over Sion, and said, Blessed is he who was not born, or he who, having been born, has died. But as for us who live, woe unto us, because we see the afflictions of Sion and what has befallen Yaru Shalaim. I will call these sirens from the sea, and ye Lilin, come ye from the desert, and ye Shadim, and dragons from the forests, awake and gird up your loins unto morning, and take up with me the dirges, and make lamentations with me. Ye husbandmen, so not again, and, O earth, wherefore give you your harvest fruits? Keep within you the sweets of your sustenance, and you, vine, why further do you give your wine? For an offering will not again be made therefrom, in Sion, nor will the first fruits again be offered. And do ye, O heavens, withhold your due, and open not the treasuries of rain? And do, O sun, withhold the light of your rays? And do, O moon, extinguish, rather, extinguish the multitude of your light? For why should light rise again? where the light of Sion is darkened. And you, ye bridegrooms, enter not in, and let not the brides adorn themselves with garlands, and ye women, pray not that ye may bear, for the barren shall above all rejoice, and those who have no sons shall be glad, and those who have sons shall have anguish. For why should they bear in pain only to bury in grief? Or why again should mankind have sons? Or why should the seed of their kind again be named where this mother is desolate and her sons are led into captivity? From this time forward, speak not of beauty and discourse not of gracefulness. Moreover, ye priests, take ye the keys of the sanctuary and cast them into the height of heaven and give them to Yahuwah and say, Guard your house yourself, for lo, we are found false stewards. And you, ye virgins, who weave fine linen and silk with gold of Ophir. Take with haste all these things and cast them into the fire, that it may bear them to him who made them. And the flame, send them to him who created them, lest the enemy get possession of them. <laughs> 